pre-need, funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975. It's Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Ms. Doris Thrash, the pre-need director at Curtis and Son. And, and uh, I want to remind you, uh, pre-need is so important. You say, well, man, that's morbid. No, it isn't. It is not. It's preparation for the fact that uh, a family member or yourself is going to pass off from this earth. It's, it's going to happen. Uh, if the Lord tarries, for sure. And uh, uh, preparation is so important. It will help you uh, to get everything in order uh, prior to that time. You won't have to struggle with uh, the funeral arrangements, uh, the cemetery, the, the clothing to wear, the insurance. and It, it can be such a hassle. And, and you're, you're at time of need. You've got all this on your mind and the loss of your loved one too. Uh, it can be very traumatic. So I just want to remind you, as, as somebody who knows, uh, I know about this, talk with Doris Thrash today at Curtis and Son Funeral Home. Mention my name and uh, tell her that I asked you to contact her about pre-need arrangements. Now, she's a very personable uh, individual, knows the ins and outs of pre-need, and uh, she can help you. There are many packages to be offered, and uh, uh, Doris Thrash knows about uh, veterans and this kind of thing, too, and, and, and their uh, burials and pre-needs and stuff like that. So contact her at... Uh, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, 256-245-4361 for pre-need funerals, burials, or cremation since 1975. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. Memorial service for Jenny Hebson Davis, age 63 of Sylacauga, will be Saturday at noon from Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel. Miss Davis died October 30th at Shelby Baptist Medical Center. In lieu of flowers, donation can be made to the American Heart Association, Online condolences at CurtisonSonFH.com, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel Directing. Nancy Carlisle Norrid, age 69, of Calera, uh, died October 30th. Funeral service 1 o'clock Friday at Stockdale Baptist Church in Talladega with burial in the adjoining cemetery. The family will receive friends one hour prior to the service. Ursary Funeral Home, Talladega Directing. Homegoing service for Edna Con Hickman. Age 87 will be Friday, November 3rd at First United Methodist Church at Sylacauga at 2 p.m. The Reverends James Haskins, Byron White, and Todd Henderson officiating. Burial, a graveside service follow in the Evergreen Memorial Cemetery. Visitation for Ms. Hickman and her family will be 1 o'clock on Friday at the church. Uh, in lieu of flowers, memorial contributions may be made to the First United Methodist Church in Sylacauga, 105 East Spring Street. Uh, 35150, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel Directing. Uh, I, I knew Miss Edna and know her husband, LP, uh, for many years. And the big Alabama fans, uh, but more than anything, they're people, people. And uh, Miss Edna will certainly be missed. And uh, our condolences to LP and the daughters and all the family and friends of uh, Edna Hickman, who passed away November 30th at her residence. And funeral service will be Friday at 2 o'clock from First United Methodist Church, Sylacauga, Curtis and Son Funeral Home, North Chapel Directing. Funeral service for Mr. Bobby Joe Wood, age 80, is today at 2 p.m. from Mellow Valley Baptist Church. Brother James Owens along with Brother David uh, Daniel and Brother, uh, Brother Dwayne Bailey along with Dr. Joe Turner officiating. Burial in the Mellow Valley Baptist Church Cemetery. Mr. Wood died Monday, October 30th at Clay County Hospital. He was a member of the Mellow Valley uh, Baptist Church where he taught Sunday school for 22 years. Memorial messages may be sent to the family at RadleyFuneralHome.com, Radley Funeral Home Directing. Mr. Andrew Hudson, age 69, died October 31st in Sylacauga. Uh, online condolences at CommunityFuneralHome.org, Community Funeral Home, Sylacauga Directing. Celebration of life for Hilbert Cass, age 74, is 2 o'clock Friday at Terry's Mortuary Chapel with interment in the Bethel Church Cemetery. Online condolences at terrysmortuary.com, Terry's Metropolitan Mortuary Directing. Grayside service for Mr. William Billy Story, age 88, is Friday at 11 o'clock from Bethlehem New Salem Church with the Reverend Tom Drake officiating. Veterans Honors provided by the Alexander City Veterans Honor Guard. 
The family are receiving friends tonight, 5 until 7 at the funeral home. Mr. Story died October 31st at Russell Medical Center. He was a proud veteran of the U.S. Army. In lieu of flowers, a family requests memorial contribution be made in his name to the Bill Nichols Veterans Home or to a charity of one's choice. Memorial messages may be sent to the family at RadyFuneralHome.com, Radley Funeral Home Directing. Wayne Trammell, age 73, of Talladega, died October 31st. Graveside service held today at 11 a.m. from Pine Hill Memorial Park in Talladega. With visitation uh, prior to the uh, graveside at Earthstree Funeral Home Chapel beginning at 9.30. Sam Walker will officiate the service. Mr. Trammell was a lifelong resident of Talladega, and his passion was coaching Little League Baseball in the city of Talladega. Online condolences at EarthstreeFuneralHome.com, Earthstree Funeral Home in Talladega, directing. Celebration of life for Michael Swain, age 59, will be 11 o'clock Friday at Bethel Baptist Church with interment in the church cemetery. The body will lie in state at the church one hour prior to the service. Online condolences at terrysmortuary.com, Terry's Metropolitan Mortuary in Talladega, in charge of the funeral arrangements. These obituaries presented by Curtis and Son Funeral Home, the North Chapel on Highway 21 in Sylacauga, and the Childersburg Chapel on Highway 280 in Childersburg. 256-245-4361. Curtis and Son Funeral Home, Sylacauga, Childersburg. <laughs> 